Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the next objects which are used for increasing crop productivity that is insecticides and pesticides. Now with manures and fertilizers what we try to do is we try to improve the quality of the soil. We try to provide more nutrient to the plant so, the pl so that the plant can grow well, the plant can give more productivity. So that is our motto. But when we talk about insecticides and pesticides, our motto is different. We don't want anything to harm that plant. So we want to protect the plant. That is the motto. So that is why we apply insecticides to protect the plant from insects. We apply pesticides to protect the plant from pests so that the crop productivity is not harmed. Now, these insecticides and pesticides can kill non-target organisms also. So that is one demerit. Now, why do we give insecticides? For example, let us suppose this is the plant. Okay, and we are spraying insecticides on this. Why are we spraying insecticides? To kill the insects which are harming this plant. But sometimes what happens is this insecticide, because insecticide is nothing but some poisonous substance which can kill that particular insect. Now sometimes that poisonous substance might be poisonous for some other organism also. So that means it can kill non-target organisms as well. Excessive use can lead to soil or water pollution again. When, it, when we spray it on the plant, it will directly or indirectly it will go to the soil. Now once it reaches the soil, it can pollute the soil because they are nothing but harmful and poisonous chemicals. So when these chemicals reach the soil, it is going to affect the organisms present in the soil. It might affect the uh, composition of the soil. It might affect the soil texture. So the soil quality gets affected. So this leads to soil pollution. Now once poisons reach the soil, it is very easy to reach water as well because whenever there is soil erosion, the soil gets carried away and it reaches the water bodies and cause the water pollution. So here you can see, so the soil and the plant, they are like very closely related. Right? So this can also adversely affect the food chain. So when I say that, what do I mean is, let us suppose we spray this insecticide on this plant. Right? So from the plant, it very easily gets into the soil. So it, it also reaches the soil, some part of the insecticide or the pesticide. Now in the soil are present small insects and small worms like earthworms. Now these earthworms are eaten up by bigger insects. So that is, it get, the poison gets inside the body of bigger insects. These insects might be eaten up by birds. So the poison actually enters the food chain from one organism to another organism. It can destroy the soil ecosystem because see in any ecosystem if a poison or a toxic substance enters so obviously the ecosystem gets adversely affected. That is quite obvious. So the same thing happens here. So once a poison reaches the soil so the entire soil ecosystem gets destroyed. So now considering all these pros and cons what is advised these days is to to go for organic farming. So what is organic farming? So organic farming is farming with no chemicals or with minimum use of chemicals. Now we cannot say that yes we can do farming without using chemicals absolutely. Well that is possible. I don't say that is not possible but looking at the uh, kind of requirement which we have in terms of crops so the amount of production which we want, so we have to achieve that also. So considering that, sometimes minimum use of chemicals is required. But what we can do is we can avoid using chemicals as much as possible. So this type of farming is called organic farming. So you would have observed in your neighborhood that if you go to buy some organic vegetables or organic fruits, they are pretty more expensive when compared to the normal fruits and vegetables. That, that's because the normal fruits and vegetables are with the help of insecticides, pesticides, etc. So they might have those chemicals inside them but in organic farming you are safe so they are all done without use of chemicals so maximum use of manures in organic farming because basically manures and fertilizers they do the same thing just that fertilizers being strong chemicals are a little more effective than manures 
healthy cropping patterns so the way the cropping is being done for example in one season one crop is grown again the other season some other crop is grown so that they both complement each other so some proper cropping patterns are being followed so that crop productivity increases thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.